Hey guys, welcome to my garden. Today I'm going to be cleaning out this old kind of weed patch that we got going on this year and putting in some fall crops. So hopefully we still have time to glean from this garden that we've kind of neglected over the summer. So here we go. Just to give you a bit of an overview, I basically let this garden go. Last year we really worked hard on this and the year before and we just had some really sad harvest so i was just not motivated to do it again this year didn't want to put the time or the money into it and so i just kind of let it go fallow this year but you can see well, there's a lot of stuff in here that kind of came up volunteer but now i'm thinking we're going to go ahead and clean it out and put in a few things to hopefully get a bit of a fall harvest. We even had a volunteer tomato plant come up. I may or may not keep that. We don't get a lot of good stuff off of it. They typically rot on the vine and we don't get much from it. You can just see we've got like some chives over here, morning glories. Actually, I did put some sweet potato vines in this year and a plum tree. So we do have some things like lilies, a plum tree, and then some dill has come up in here. So we're just gonna get in there and clean it up and see what we can do with this. And before we take it down, just a little honorable mention to the neighborhood's tallest weed. He was pretty cool looking when he came up. I didn't know what it was. I still don't know what it is. Do you guys know what it is? Leave me a comment, let me know. I was hoping it would flower or do something, but it did not. And now it's over 10 feet tall. So just a little nod to this weed before we take it down. potatoes in here that I did not plant this year but last year I planted potatoes and they did really terrible but we do have a few that have come up this year left over so we might get just you know a few that we can eat here and there so we'll go ahead and dig those out in here before we're ready to plant our next crop. Right, so we have got this cleared out and it looks the best it's looked in a really long time. So we went ahead and just planted a few things in here. It's still pretty hot out, like temperatures today are gonna be in the upper 80s and over the next few days, next week it's gonna get in the upper 90s again. So we went ahead and put butternut squash in here and I left this area because I'm going to be putting in some cooler weather things later in a few weeks. Hopefully things will cool down. I'm gonna do like broccoli and radishes and carrots, that sort of thing. And then down here, I went ahead and put in some French filet green beans. We've actually got one coming up right there. 
that my son planted in a pot a while ago, so it's got a head start. And then we just did some basil along the front. And then we've got morning glory vine there that's going crazy, but it gives us a really nice show of blue flowers in the morning, so I'm gonna let it be for now. And a marigold that we left here. And then these are sweet potato vines that we have put in over the last few weeks, so they're really taken off. And a few green onions that came up, kind of volunteer from before. And then I just went ahead and planted a little cilantro up front here. So again, I'm leaving some of this open for when it cools down out here a bit, and hopefully we can get some fall crops. So I will have to keep you posted. Now I did leave like my echinacea, got a zinnia, a lone zinnia there, and lemon balm. So I'd like to bulk this up with a bit more perennials, another big zinnia. And then I think this is also a different variety of morning glory, but it gives us some really nice flowers. So I'll leave it for now. So anyway, that is it. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching us puttering around the garden. It was pretty satisfying to get all those weeds cleaned up out of there. So we're pretty much done. It is hot out here the humidity is high. So even though it doesn't seem like it should be hot, we're dripping sweat out here. So. We are gonna go on in, cool off, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.